everybody, it's Crimzella, and boy do I have a treat for you today. I've decided, since it's almost fall, that I want to do the Hogwarts House Common Rooms. Or at least, you know, sort of how they're supposed to look, because we didn't really see all of them in the movies. Um, I started with Gryffindor, because it is... I, there is the most references, basically, for me to to work on. Um, basically looked at a bunch of pictures on Google, uh, and also used from memory from watching the movies and reading the books of how it should look. Um, I didn't worry about the outside of the building because this is just strictly an inside the common room feed build. There will be stairs that lead up to nowhere where the dorm room should be. I am a Hufflepuff, but you know, Gryffindor you know, they always they always get first place, so I decided to build them first. So, this is, these are the walls. Uh, I struggled with making a proper fireplace, and I later fix it, as you will see, and just end up putting bonfires right there because the flame is not big enough. Um, so I'm making the table and having to build this fake fireplace. I don't even know what that area is called. The the facade of it? The, the face of the fireplace? I don't even know. I probably used the wrong word. Um, that carpet was perfect for this, might I say. Uh, this little part was interesting because if you've looked at the pictures, it's actually at a slant and leads up to the window. And that, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So I just had to kind of make it up. This part was from the first movie. So if you find a picture on Google of like an aerial view of the common room, you see this kind of circle of chairs in front of a chess table. And one of them is kind of just, you know, sitting by himself out in the back all lonely. Um, later on in the later movies, the room kind of changes. The layout changes, the furniture changes a bit. Um, but like I said, this is kind of just a uh, Gryffindor themed, so I kind of took my own like liberties in making it the way that I felt it should look. Um, I used a lot of cheats. I used debug, I used uh, move objects, I resized, I lifted, I did all that good stuff. Um, I, I downloaded that red shelf thing that people use to, to like, uh, put clutter everywhere, but I haven't quite learned how to use it yet, so I really ignored it completely throughout this whole thing. I hope I can learn how to use it someday properly. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just putting a whole butt ton of uh, those rocks, just layering them up. I work on these stairs a few times to try to make spirals. There we go. That's what it looks like. So that's one of the uh, stairways up to the dorm room put a bunch of pictures up and I know like in the movies there's just tapestries all around the whole perimeter of the walls um, but there's no tapestries like that in The Sims so I, I worked with curtains and wallpaper and tried to make it work as best as I could um, I made a cool little basket that's in one of the pictures if you look it up there there's a basket and I really struggled with that sofa that's it and the chairs that were in front of the fireplace because there's no sofa that matches those leather chairs that I picked. There's they're all too bright red. And I really wanted like the burgundy, like deep, deep red. And I made that cool shelf. I was very proud of myself. I also changed out the lights a lot because um I really liked that one long skinny uh golden light that I put on the left side of the room on that little table because it just fits so well but then when the lights are lit like you can see when I resized that big chandelier the little flames just don't match up because it's been resized and I, it was bothering me too much so I ended up changing it out for those little candle orbs the walls I, so I tried to make them look like tapestries by adding a bunch of gold details and uh, flowery vines changed out all these books after I put them all down to look more kind of like old and worn, kind of like the books that you would see in the movies. Um, also those cups, in one of the pictures there's butterbeers all over the tables and I was like, oh, mugs. And then I realized uh, those are cheesy. 
and later on you will see them changed out with these with these cups right here filled with some sort of like let's just call it butter beer because um, it looks like that and I was really happy to see that they actually filled up because a lot of those debug cups that you put down and there is one of them right there they're empty when you put them down so I was super excited along with those um, what are they called the potions those red that red thing right there on the table that was actually filled up with liquid 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 and I was very excited about that yeah I put some wands down I put some books around there because you know they're teenagers they're they're messy that they, they don't really pick up after themselves um, just worrying about defeating uh, dark wizards and uh, playing Quidditch just playing the Quidditch um, I put that little ball sort of pillow oh here without further ado I found this really cool uh, remix on YouTube that wasn't copyrighted. So like, the description has has the credits. And I'm really sorry that uh, right here it's very choppy because it was very difficult for me to smoothly rotate with my hand with the mouse. I did my best. But Overall, I'm very proud with how it turned out. There's Harry, just like looking, looking at his common room. But I am very excited. I think I might do Ravenclaw next because they're also in a tower. Um, then probably Slytherin because I feel like that would be very fun to make. And then Hufflepuff will be last because even though I'm Hufflepuff and I love Hufflepuff, I'm uh, not that excited and kind of scared to do it because I don't know what I should make it look like. It's probably going to be a lot of yellow and plants. But yeah, there's the bonfires. Um, yep. So yeah, that was my Gryffindor common room build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it took me about three hours to make and even longer to edit so and this is the first time I've ever done a speed build or a sims edit so um, again I apologize if it's very choppy I will work on that but you know nobody's perfect <laughs> and there's our trio uh, they their faces don't look anything like them that's why it's from behind but I think it looks nice so, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.